All day long, we are bringing you special coverage of how we can all care for our mental health, an issue that hits close to home for so many people. And that includes Congressman Seth Moulton, who joins us now. Thanks for being with us, Congressman. We appreciate it. It's great to be here. So a few years ago, you started speaking more openly about your own mental health and the post-traumatic stress you experienced after your military service in Iraq. Why was it important to you to share that? Because we all need to share our stories if we're going to get help. And for too long, I was reluctant to share my story because of my job. And, and, and even before that, because I just didn't appreciate the fact that I was suffering from post-traumatic stress as well. I didn't have the terrible symptoms that some of my vet, vet fellow veterans have, like feeling suicidal or literally not being able to get out of bed in the morning. But I had the bad dreams, I had the cold sweats, I had images I couldn't get out of my, health, my, my head, and I needed to get help too. By sharing my story, I'm, I'm glad to see it's inspired a lot of others to share theirs. Congressman, tell us about some of the legislative projects you're working on that might make it easier to get help, like the 988 hotline for mental health. You well, like this is one of the pieces of legislation I'm most proud of. And we're, we got it passed even in this very divided time in Washington. I co-authored this bill with a fellow veteran, a Republican Air Force veteran from Utah, and it establishes 988 as a nationwide mental health hotline. Now, I have to say it's not operational yet, so don't call this number today. But starting next year, everyone in America from the whatever phone you have, whatever cell phone or landline, will be able to call that number if you need help. It's just like having 911. If you wake up in the middle of the night and your house is burning down, you don't have to find a phone book to get the number to the fire department. Well, now if you wake up in the middle of the night and you or a loved one is having a mental health crisis, everyone will know the number to dial to get help. What would you say to someone, you know, especially another veteran who is struggling with their mental health, but maybe they're reluctant, like you were, to ask for help? Well, I think the single best piece of advice or wisdom that I've gotten about post-traumatic stress came from one of my closest friends in the Marines, who said to me, Seth, after what we went through, it would be a disorder to not be upset about it, to not be affected by these experiences. So in other words, it's a totally natural human reaction to trauma, to violence, to, to have some after effects. That's why I refer to PTSD and leave out the D. I talk about post-traumatic stress, not post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm -hmm. So the point to fellow veterans is you're not unusual, you're normal if you have post-traumatic stress after going through traumatic experiences overseas, it's okay. Just know that you're in a good club with a lot of good company. Get some help, and then you can drive on with your life. It's an important message. Congressman, thank you so much for your time. We truly appreciate it. Thank you. Now, remember, if you or someone you know needs to be connected to mental health services or support, you can call 211. Operators will be able to help you find resources. And we also have information on our WCBB app. If you need help right now or need to talk about suicide, you can contact Call to Talk, the nationwide hotline that is uh, available right now. It's 800-273-TALK. That's 800-273-8255. Or you can text C2T to 741741.